Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2023 GMC Sierra 2500, we're gonna be checking out the B&W Companion sliding fifth wheel hitch. So right away, the Companion, this is gonna be designed to work with the B&W underbed gooseneck trailer hitches. And there's a couple of reasons that I can think of why you'd wanna use the Companion over the standard type fifth wheel head that, that uses the traditional type rails. And one of them, uh, is that you have a couple of different types of trailers. So if you have a gooseneck and a fifth wheel, having the gooseneck hitch allow you to pull that trailer, and then by picking up the companion, it'll let you drop this fifth wheel right into that gooseneck hitch and hook up to your fifth wheel trailer. Maybe you only have a fifth wheel, right? Uh, but maybe you don't want those big rails in the bed of your truck, you know, taking up space and um, you know, they're not super easy on the eyes by any means. The gooseneck kit, since it's all underneath the bed, you really don't see much up here and you still have full bed access. So you could always do that, drop the companion in place and tow your fifth wheel. They make these style of hitches in a couple different configurations. Some that are fixed, meaning they're in a fixed position and some that slide like this one that we have here today and you know what you're going to need for your truck is really just going to depend on your bed length if you have a short bed like we do a sliding type one like this will be more appropriate and that's because when it's in its towed or most forward position you don't have as much space here as you would with a long bed and so when your trailer is kind of overhanging if you make super tight turns you could potentially you know, the corners could collide and, and cause a damage to the trailer and the cab corners. Um, definitely want to avoid that. So that's the point of the sliding hitch. You know, if you find yourself in that scenario where you're making that super tight turn, what you can do is um, set your trailer's brakes and then you come out here, lift up on the handle there. And, um, you know, depending on if you're putting it back in the toad position or, or scooching it back, you'd either reverse or go forward. And this will slide back, giving you that additional clearance that you need, which in our case would be more than enough to actually make that tight turn. Do you get quite a bit of people wondering if a tunnel cover will clear the hitch? And it's a, it's a hard answer or hard question to answer for sure, but generally speaking, you're not gonna run into any issues. So right now, I have our hitch set in the medium height because this is adjustable to kind of fine tune it to your trailer. So I have mine in the middle and we have quite a bit of, of distance here. Matter of fact, I've yet to run into one that hasn't cleared. I'm sure they're out there, uh, but it's just gonna depend on your situation. But like I said, chances are pretty good. It'll work and it's definitely understandable because this thing is super heavy um, and kind of a pain to take in and out, to be honest with you. So having the cover back here makes sense. Keep it out of the out of the elements and everything else. And that brings you to my next point too. Do you plan on pulling this thing in and out uh, fairly often? Uh, B&W makes an attachment that locks into here. And then if you have um, some type of winch mechanism or something like that, you can put that in, winch this up out of the bed and drive the truck out from under it. It makes uh, getting this in and out a lot more manageable. A lot of people also wonder about, you know, will the hitch fit in their bed if they have uh, a toolbox back here? And I do not see why it would not. Uh, there's more than enough space here for just about every toolbox out there, uh, I would imagine. So that's how your truck's set up. You shouldn't really have too much to worry about. I am a big fan of the uh, jaw mechanism here that would go around your kingpin. It's super thick steel and makes a complete 360 degree contact there. Uh, so for me, it just gives, gives me a little more peace of mind knowing I have such a solid connection because that's really important, you know, and it opens up nice and wide, letting you kind of back, uh, uh, back the truck up to the trailer and, and get it sorted and hooked up and, and whatnot. Uh, the head here is going to articulate. So it does have some movement in it, making hooking it up a little bit easier. And not to mention too, I feel like this will help the trailer ride a little bit better. You know, there's a little more forgiveness in there and uh, shouldn't get as much chucking and, and jarring whenever you're towing it down the road. As far as the weight capacities go, this is gonna have a 20,000 pound maximum gross trailer weight rating. So that's gonna be the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. It's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have uh, enter on it. And it's gonna have a 5,000 pound maximum gross pin box uh, weight rating, which will be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. 
Now, I do always like to suggest so. Never a bad idea, just check in your truck's owner's manual and make sure uh, you know it's rated to handle that much weight safely. But other than that though, you know, if you're looking for a great way to be able to have a gooseneck and be able to use a fifth wheel hitch, um, definitely a, a setup worth considering. I'm a big fan of B&W myself. Uh, everything they make is top notch. You know, they're a big name in the towing world. A lot of people know, know about them and there's a reason for it and that's because they make good stuff. So um, if I was personally looking for a setup, uh, something like this on my truck, this is one I'd definitely uh, go with. And that'll finish up our look at of the B&W Companion sliding fifth wheel hitch on our 2023 GMC Sierra 2500.